morning and afternoon. Stocks 5150 here. Stocks is crazy. Listen, today what we're going to talk about is creating a watch list on E-Trade Pro. And um, this is real simple. So you can see here, I got a couple of uh, watch lists. I got ETFs to watch, investments to watch, Massey Trades, shout out to Massey Trades. Um, and Trade and Travel, shout out to Terry at Trade and Travel. And the VIX, so watch that also. So you can select, you click the drop down box and you can scroll through them real quick, whichever ones you want to watch. All right, so let's say, and we have a default one here that comes with E-Trade Pro. So let's say if we want to create a new watch list, you select new here, you can name it. And we'll name this one, Stocks 5150 for the channel. Please subscribe, man. Help me out, brother. Need the bread. You need the help. Not really, but you know, doing it for the love. All right, so here we go. Um, in your available columns, you can select. Well, I already got them selected. The last change trade. If you want to change anything, like say you don't want the bid in there, you can remove it. And if you want to have the bid back in there, then you can go and you can add the bid back. Boom, like that. Total volume, change and close dollar change the percent change news or anything like that all right so you can select what you want to see in the columns of your watch list all right what's this just saw something that looked interesting pre-market percent change hmm, i think i'll add that in there <clears throat> i might come i might start doing some gap ups that might help me out with that. All right, so we call that stocks 5150, and you can select your settings, default list, da, 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 columns. We named it what we want to name it, and we click OK. All right, so here we call this stocks 5150. This is the name, QQQ. We got that symbol in there. And if you want to add another one in there, just highlight it and type it in. So we want to watch uh, the spine. We want to watch Apple. Type the ticker in, press enter. It's just that simple. And it brings up the data that you need. The dollar collect change at close, percent from close, last trade, ask, bid, total volume. There it is. Pre-market percent change. Yeah, I think that might help me out. Might add it to all my list actually. So um, there you go. How to create a watch list. And watch lists are very important because, well, you shouldn't just jump in and start trading just because some guy on YouTube said so. You need to pay attention, see what's going on, see what the highs and lows are for the day, things of that nature. All right. So that being said, that's how you create a watch list. Matter of fact. It looks like I changed that on everything. I got a percent market change on there. I think because I did it in the defaults uh, selection, which that's all good. Now, that's that for creating a watch list. Stocks 5150. Y'all have a good day. It's crazy out there. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. I'm out.